Also known as the Apache, the A-64 is a formidable weapon of war and a testament to the outstanding engineering achievements of the modern aviation twin-engine attack helicopter, originally designed and manufactured by the American aerospace company McDonnell Douglas, which is now part of Boeing, developed in 2011. 1970 chapter as a replacement for the aging Cobra AH-1 attack helicopter, the Apache prototype first flew in 1975. The initial concept was a helicopter capable of performing multiple roles, but the final design was optimized for long-range, ground-targeted attacks with accurate hits against armored targets. The ability to operate in fire and forget mode, meaning targets can be detected, tracked, and missiles launched to destroy them without the pilot pinning them down. This allows Apache to target multiple targets simultaneously and unreachable targets. In addition, the Longbow's radar has terrain tracking capabilities, allowing the Apache to fly at low altitudes, and counter tracking makes the helicopter a formidable weapon in the U.S. military's arsenal. Because it can avoid being detected by enemy radars, the Apache is famous for its 30mm cannon. The Apache cannon can fire up to 625 rounds per minute. It is an integral part of the T-loaded foreign helicopter weapon system in the traditional sense. Instead, it is an independent integral system in the front of the helicopter's fuselage. It is fed by an ammunition drum located under the cockpit on the underframe and usually our brother sailors and marines go army contains a chin-mounted gun. The helicopter turret which allows a wide range of maneuvers to aim and fire at targets, is designed not only for high accuracy, but also for effectiveness against a variety of targets. It can be controlled by a monocle, which is mounted on the Apache's helmet. What makes it a top helicopter is its maneuverability. It is designed to fly in and out of a variety of environments, including the city jungle and this mountainous terrain thanks to two shaft engines turbo-powered Apache, and four-blade main rotor helicopter. It hovers and maneuvers closely using the Apache's advanced avionics and flight control systems, including a digital autopilot that helps pilots fly the aircraft more efficiently, but without constant contact, the Apache is relatively easy to shift from base to an offensive or defensive position. During the war, it was here that American pilots dropped their C-17 Globemaster III Apaches at Qatar Air Force Base. Unlike other helicopters which had to be transported disassembled, the main wing tail rotors and other components were removed and repackaged to make the Apache. Transport Sheet Folded as shown so the helicopter can be safely loaded into the cargo hold of military aircraft without complete disassembly. The Apache's size and power allow it to carry a decent payload of weapons. The A-64A and A-64D models can comfortably carry a dozen Hellfire missiles. The Hellfire missiles are used to attack ground targets. Good place man, very good. They also have Hydra 70 or APK WS-2 missiles which are usually used for air defense against foreign enemy aircraft and launchers or loaded in Apache missile pods must be carefully aligned and secured to prevent movement or damage during flight. An electronic link is established between the missile housing and the helicopter's avionic system, which is necessary to allow the pilot to control the missile during flight in the event of an emergency. The Apache can take off at any time with the right arm support team, and refueling the Apache takes about 30 minutes as the fuel trucks accelerate on both sides of the helicopter since there are not one, but two fueling stations on each side of the helicopter. Point helicopters are usually color-coded to indicate the type of fuel used with internal fuel only. The Apache can fly a little over two hours with a full combat payload. The Apache is a relatively heavy helicopter which can make takeoff difficult and tricky, as the rotors allow for greater stability and control during takeoff and other flight maneuvers. The chopper's two turboshaft engine provides the power needed to lift the aircraft helicopter from the ground and propel it forward. The engine is also designed to produce the high torque required to control the helicopter during takeoff and other flight operations. 
Aviation systems such as the flight control system and digital automatic stability enhancement system kept the helicopter stable and controllable during takeoff in 2016. This Apache has passed a mandatory flight test where you can see the AS-64 hovering just meters from the ground. All the pilot could do was swing the compass to check the pointing readiness. The compass would indicate correctly when the aircraft experienced an electrical fault, and the pilot had to switch to a more primitive method of navigation during servicing, which was commonplace. The opportunity for all aircraft to join an operation, the interval can be every thousand or fifteen flight hours, which includes all Apache disassembly and component checks and repairs not normally included during routine maintenance is accessible. Apache helicopters at Katerbach Army Airfield in Germany to stay competitive and at the forefront of technology, it will be critical for the U.S. military to upgrade its foreign pilot training equipment with new equipment and software by 2021. Fort Stewart pilots are trained with the latest military helicopters on 64E engines or Echo Crew which are more powerful, have a better propulsion system with a more powerful transmission system which makes the aircraft much more powerful, has better maneuverability, and brings weapons to the battlefield. Sensors and equipment, even the new missiles that the older AS-64 cannot carry, are considered the most feared helicopters by the U.S. military due to several foreign factors. Its firepower is lethal with its 30mm cannon, Hellfire missiles, and missiles. Apache's advanced technologies allow it to work efficiently in almost any environment and its durability is outstanding. General rear defense, the combination of these factors, makes the Apache a highly effective and feared weapon on the battlefield. Thank you, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss our new content. See you soon.